In this lesson, we're going to start to look a little bit more at detailing, starting with our main building section and then going to wall sections and then callouts of those wall sections. So let's go to our section one. And in our section one, which is at one to 100, that's fine. We're gonna create an exterior wall callout. So I'm gonna go to my view tab and say, okay, I wanna do a callout. Okay, and it's going to be a wall section. And I'm gonna just do a box like that. That's it, escape, escape, pick on here, move this guy over here. I've created a new view in here called wall section. There it is right there. I'm gonna right click on here and say rename and call this, you know, exterior wall section. And I'm gonna actually double click and open it up and now I can see I'm inside that view. From within here, I can turn off the crop region. I can adjust my grid line, etc., as I please. But now I'm going to create callouts of my wall section. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do another callout. This is going to be a detail callout, and it's going to be. I'm going to have one at, one at the parapet. I'll have another wall detail callout at this floor intersection and another one over here at my foundation okay escape escape on the keyboard click here drag that guy over pick on the edge drag that guy over when we place these on sheets these little bubbles will all get their information because they're going to know where they're located okay so now i've created some detail views okay there's detail zero and I can rename this and call it, you know, parapet detail. And double click on this one and rename this foundation wall. Foundation wall section. Open this one and rename this one and call it um, second floor at exterior wall. Now each one of these I don't want I don't need to see that crop region I can turn it off double click on here turn off the crop region double click on here turn off the crop region. Now what I want to do is create that little break line effect that we see traditionally where things get kind of terminated. Watch, I'm going to go insert, I'm going to say load family, I'm going to scroll down to detail items, imperial or metric, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go to general under there and say break line, there's only one family there. And I'm going to say open. Once I have that, I'm going to hit open. And now that family is loaded. And if I go down here to my families and I go under detail items, there it is, break line. Okay, so I'm going to drag it in and place it. Okay, then I'm going to hit my space bar. 50 50 chance of getting it in the right place. Oops, using my arrow key. Now that got placed outside my crop region, so I got to go find it. There it is there. Bring my crop region back just about there. Okay. This guy needs to be rotated. Let's rotate. You can't flip it for some reason. Rotate this around. That looks good like that. This guy needs to get bigger. Using my middle mouse to pan while I stretch it. Not too bad. Okay, now I can turn that crop region off again. Okay, so I want to go through each one of these and grab that break line. That one's good. One, two, three. Place that one there. Not too bad. Scroll up second floor. Grab that break line. Bring it in. 
place one there. One, two, space bar to rotate. Okay, one, two, three. Getting the knock of this. Oh, that one didn't work for some reason. I got to rotate it around. Nudge it over. Okay, then I can click on here and, you know, tighten these guys up as I please. Now, these guys, I'm going to make them 1 to 20. Now, let's make them 1 to 10, simply because I know I have lots of room on my sheet. So I'm going to make them all really big scale. 1 to 10, 1 to 10. And my wall section itself is 1 to 1. Let's go 1 to 20. Okay. Now, finally, let's make a new sheet. Right click, new sheet, use my DG title block. Bring it in, and where's my, we'll start with the big wall section. Put that guy there, and we'll go with the smaller ones. Second floor, foundation. Okay, we can move these guys around. I know they're massive, uh, but I only did that because I know I have lots of room on my great big A0 sheets. So I'm just adjusting the titles of my views. And you'll notice that double click inside here to adjust these guys. Click on here. Okay. Double click out, click, click. Grab this guy, squish it in, press and drag. Now notice this is on drawing A106. Okay, now all these bubbles are populated. This is detail three on sheet A106. Well, that would be detail three on drawing A106. If you change the name of this to be 106X or A or whatever, it'll adjust in all your bubbles. So you don't have to worry about um, coordinating your detail bubble numbers and your sheet numbers anymore. It's all completely being um, organized by Revit. So I've just double clicked in this view. I'm doing a little bit of cleanup. Tighten this up a little bit. Double click out. Okay, so um, we need to add our, some detail components, but that's really the essence of it is we start way back here with our, our section. Okay, which now says this is call out one on A106. So we have our wall section, double click on our wall section, goes to here, shows the callouts, double click on here, goes to the callout. You can go again, you know, keep going down inside. I don't know how far, but you can nest a callout within a callout, okay? In the end, they all end up over here in our sheets. You can rename this and call it details. And we're done. So now from here on in, we want to make sure that all of these are set to be fine detail, okay? Not medium. It's going to show us a little more detail in the cross hatching, etc. Okay. And now we can add in our little detail components.